thing. Okay. Hey guys, so I this is Candace Fields, your independent stampin' up demonstrator. So I am here today with a very quick video sharing with you two ways how to use the new stamping up um gold leafing. And I'm trying to see if I have the catalog near me. And I have a feeling that I don't. And I usually do, which is kind of weird. But I've been moving things around in my craft room, so I'm not surprised that I don't. But in the upcoming catalog, there is new gold leafing that is coming. And so I have mines in a bowl. Um, you're probably going to want a little bit of a bigger bowl. I should have picked a bigger bowl for this. But I wanted to show you the two ways how you can use the gold leafing. And so this is the card example. Let me make sure you guys can see. And let me just do one more thing. So I want to make sure that you guys can see very well. Okay, I think that's going to be better. Okay, so let me see. All right, because I don't have good lighting in this room, which totally sucks. So this is um the two ways that i've used i use it as a border and then i use it as an accent piece here so i'm going to show you those two ways of how you can use the gold leafing so the first way is using tear and tape which is always a fun way of using this and so i like to do it one um one at a time i don't try to do it all at once you can but your hands may well you know what let's, let's do that way let's give that way a try so i recently just took off all of my nails and my nails look so terrible guys so i am so sorry about that but i wanted um since um Um, a lot of the numbers started going back up here in Virginia. I didn't want to go back to the um, nail salon because they don't, the salon that I go to, they don't really practice very good social distancing. So, uh, I mean, everybody still has to wear their mask and stuff like that, but the six feet apart, they're not very good at that. And since the numbers are back up, I wanted to take a break and it also just allowed me to be able to do certain things that I haven't been able to do with my nails so that's always something good okay so I'm just lining up each piece So how's everybody's weekend going? Um, hope I got that. Oh, make that a little bit more tape right there. Um, so I finally finished all of my Christmas shopping that I'm going to do. Anything else is just going to have to be done after Christmas. I just want to grab this little end. Because I'm not going back in them stores. The stores surprisingly have been crazy. Despite everything that's going on. Okay, so this is where I put it, my goalie thing in. It's very messy. You are going to want something like a brush. I'm just using an old sponge here. And I'm going to just dip this in and then I'm just going to start removing. And 
and then I'm playing also. I'm not gonna lie, I actually do like using the gold leaf. It can be very therapeutic. Okay, I'm just dipping back in. really take that long to do I bought like two bottles of this gold leaf leafing so I think that when I get some more when the um, catalog is released um, I'm definitely going to open up the next bottle in a bigger container. Okay, so now I'm just cleaning it up, getting anything extra off, and there you go. So that, using the um, Terra Tape, is going to get you that nice border okay so now we're going to use the other method which is using the heat and stick um, embossing powder and I use on my card I actually use the older one that I have but I think Using that, it was actually, um, it wasn't, um, it wasn't necessarily good. Because I did hear somebody else say that, um, like embossing powders and stuff can go bad over time. And I was like, what? No, can I've had that stuff for years. But, um, I was going to say that it, it just may be the fact that it's heat, um, heat and stick that may be my issue. And... Okay, so I'm just going to take this. I am going to stamp this using some Blushing Bride. And I'm trying to see. Because I'm good. I don't know how to. So because I don't use face, um, Facebook Live that often on this channel anyway, I should say. Sometimes I have a hard time wondering if I'm doing things right and if I can see things. Okay, so now I'm just going to stamp this. And you really do want to use like a piercing mat or something underneath that, underneath this. And yeah. Let's see. So, thank God for two sides of the paper. And I need to update my um my pad for um blush and bride to the new one. Cause that could be the issue too. Okay, that's better. So I'll clean this off later. Okay, so now what we're going to do is with the layering piece. Okay, so I'm going to layer that, and grabbing my Versamark, this is the one that I have right here. Okay, I've just been, really been trying to clean up the craft room because I'm about tired of looking at the mess. And I'm trying to get rid of some stuff that I'm no longer using. 
Now you do want to use like your embossing buddy on here or your um or a dryer sheet. Okay. Paper that I use. I'm actually, I can't wait for 2021 to, to get here. Okay. But now they. Okay, don't be afraid to use up your um, heat and stick because you can pour the excess, the excess back. Cause I'm not sure if I said it here on my last one that I have a um, what they call appendagitis. So I'm going to the. GI doctor on Tuesday to see what's going on with my stomach and I don't know about you guys who are overweight but the one thing I get tired of hearing is oh you need to lose some weight and you look at them like okay yeah I know this already um but I kind of need somebody to okay me getting the surgery I want to get and they don't want to do it Okay, so now we're just melting this, and this is going to become sticky. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to grab some of this by hand. Put it on there and then start. You know, and I think this heat, um, it's been a long time since I used heat and stick, but I want to say that you can also use heat and stick um, um, to, to use for glitter. Okay, and then there you go. Okay, so these are the two ways that you can use the gold leafing in your crafting. So the new catalog comes out on January 5th. Um, I'm going to be doing a, ca um, a catalog walkthrough. I absolutely love this catalog. And... Um, what else is going on next month? Oh, celebration. Can't forget, can't forget about that. And so with every $50 that you spend, you can earn a um, celebration item. And then, of course, we have two products in the celebration catalog that uh, if you order $100, you can earn a free item. And those are a lot of, one is a stamp set and one is a stamp set with paper. And... Anybody who has ordered from me in the last couple of months, um, your catalogs have been sent out. I had Stampin' Up! shipped them out for me, so you should be getting those in soon. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm trying to get into doing these Facebook Lives, so I, I'm going to plan something else soon. This is probably it for this week since it's Christmas and I have tons of other things to do. But thank you so much for joining me. Alrighty, night. Bye-bye.